हेलो हाय गुड इवनिंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल एचएसआर बायो इन्फो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू द प्रीवियस सेशन वी आर स्टडीइंग द ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम सो बिफोर गोइंग टू टुडे सेशन वी जस्ट रिकॉल व्हाट वी हैव लर्न एंड वी का वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इन द प्रीवियस सेशन सो वी डिस्कस द डाइजेशन ऑफ द फूड दैट मींस the micro molecules which are present in the food converted into the micro molecules and also we discuss the different kinds of animals based on the what type of food they are taking and also most important thing we discussed in the earlier class that is two different kinds of digestion they include the c extra cellular digestion extra cellular digestion and intra cellular digestion so we have given some of the example for the intra cellular digestion and also extra cellular digestion for the extra cellular digestion we mentioned the human beings are the best example human beings are the best example for the extra cellular digestion okay so today we are going to discuss the complete process of and how extra cellular digestion is taking place in the human beings so let us start today's class so extra cellular digestion is associated with the two important concepts they includes the elementary canal and also second one is a accessory or secretory glands secretory glands so first we just look at elementary canal how elementary canal is present in the human beings so see elementary canal is started with the mouth that mouth open into the pharynx this again open into the esophagus this is of our connected with the stomach stomach connect with the small intestine and the small intestine opens into the large intestine large intestine this is a elementary canal of humans so what are the accessory or secretory glands which are present in the human let us see the secretory or accessory glands present in the human beings are salivary glands parotid glands pancreas liver and also some parts of the elementary canal that is stomach and also small intestine these are the secretory glands why we call sec secretory glands means they are secreting some fluids into the elementary canal they are secreting some fluids into the elementary canal
Why they are secreting such fluids? Because their fluids are very essential for the digestion of food from mouth to the large intestine. At the final stage, I mentioned, I didn't mention anus. So this is the important elementary canal flowchart and accessory glands flowchart. Okay, let us see how elementary canal which are looking in the human beings through the diagrammatical representation and also where salivary glands and these secretory glands are present where they are secreting different kinds of secretory fluids into the digestive system. We will see through the diagrammatical representation, through the diagrammatical represent, representation. So, let us start. I am going to draw the first elementary canal. See, this is the mouth. That mouth opens into the Open into the panix. This is space is a panix. The panix connected with the esophagus, this tubelet structure, esophagus. Then esophagus opens into the stomach. So stomach is looking like this. This is a stomach. Again, see stomach that connected with the small intestine. Here, small intestine again divided into the three types. They include first one is a duodenum. Second part is a jejunum. Third one is a alum. So, we will see where is duodenum and where is duodenum and alum. So, from here, from here to here, this tube-like structure of small intestine we call as a duodenum. So, duodenum that connects with the jejunum, jejunum connected with the ilum. Before going to draw jejunum and ilum, I am going to draw the large intestine. See how large intestine is, looks like. So, this is called as large intestine. This is called as large intestine. The rest part of the small intestine, jejunum ilum, is present in this gap like this one with the many foldings.
like this. It's showing the many warnings. So, in this way, they fall into like this within the gap present in the around large intestine. So, see, here is the upper part above the large intestine we call in duodenum. That is the part of small intestine. Here is the middle part of the small intestine we call in jejunum. Then the below part of the small intestine we call as alum. So small intestine divided into three parts. They are, are present above part, middle part and below part. Coming to the large intestine, this is a large intestine. Large intestine again divided into the three types. One is the ascending colon. Second one is a transverse colon. And the third one is a descending colon. Descending colon. We will see ascending colon which is present here. This is called as ascending. Why we are calling ascending? I will clarify in the next few seconds. And this is our transfer colon that is present here. Transverse colon. And uh, this one is a descending colon of large intestine. This descending colon open into the a part that is called as a rectum. Finally, rectum open into the anus. So here you just observe where elementary canal is started and where elementary canal is ended. You just observing that mouth is the starting point of the elementary canal whereas anus is the ending point of the elementary canal. So, in between mouth and anus, the food will going to be digested. This is the close out of the human digestive system and different parts. Let us see accessory or secretory glands of the human digestive system. First of all, the accessory or secretory glands, they include the salivary glands which is present beneath the mouth part. Beneath the mouth part, they simply salivary glands. So, second one is a parotid gland. Parotid glands is present here. Parotid gland present here, posterior to the mouth. So, here parotid gland is present. So, after the parotid gland, this is the stomach of the elementary canal. This stomach also acts as a secretory gland. So, after parotid gland, stomach is a one important part of the elementary canal also acts as the secretory gland. Now, coming to the liver, Actually, see here is the liver present.
So, liver that contains the gall bladder This gall bladder connect with the a tube like or duct like structure that is called as a bile duct that bile duct is opens into the duodenum of small intestine so see what happened liver produces the bile juices or bile salts that bile juices are collected by the bile duct and stored in the gall bladder Whenever we wanted the bile juices for the digestion process, then gallbladder secretes the bile juices through the bile duct. Through the bile duct into the duodenum. So, next part of the accessory or secretory glands is pancreas this is the structure of pancreas it is, it is looking like a leaf like structure so this one is the pancreas see pancreas is a organ it contains the both endocrine and exocrine systems. In the pancreas, the pancreas are producing the pancreatic juices which contain the many enzymes. They are the essential for the digestion of the food. So, how pancreatic juices that are connected to the duodenum through the, that means through the binder, both Bile duct received bile juices and the pancreatic juices both mixing in the duodenum of the small intestine. So, this is a small intestine part. This small intestine part also producing some enzymes. They are essential for the digestion of the food. Okay, this is a a important concept elementary canal how elementary canal is present from the mouth to the anus and where accessory or secretory glands are present in the uh, digestive system and where they are secreting different secretions into the different parts of the digestive canal so let us see let us see how Ingested food that directly enter into the esophagus that enter into the esophagus rather than lungs, nothing but trachea, a part of the lung. See, this is a very important concept actually. Food why that enter into the esophagus rather than the we can see here is a, a structure. This is a I block that structure that is called as a epiglottis. That is called epiglottis. See, actually, I'm going to draw. human being this is actually human face this is the chin this is the nose and they are the lips so see this is the intermediator 
between the nose and mouth that is we call as palate or palate so this is called as a nose nose that connected to the common point for both mouth and nose is pharynx common point for the nose and mouth is a pharynx see actually what we are taking for example this is called a fruit like apple so we are taking this fruit through the mouth is it right in the mouth through the by using the teeth this fruit can get pieces these pieces combined with the secretions of the salivary glands secretions okay the secretions on with the pieces of this fruit we call as the bolus we call as bolus now this bolus is entering into the common point for both air and food particles that is called as a pharynx at the same time we are taking the air through the nostrils of nose the air is also coming here actually what should be taken place is the air particle must be enter into the trachea air must be enter into the trachea at the same time food particles food particles that enter into the esophagus food particles that enter into the esophagus so see what happened the food particles which are present in the pharynx that causes some pressure on the this small part that is called as the epiglottis whenever the food particle causing the pressure that food particle cause a pressure increases the epiglottis on to the trachea then the food particle not enter into the trachea that enter into the esophagus esophagus in this way we ingested food that not entering into the trachea instead they entering into the esophagus only due to the presence of the epiglottis so this is a very important point to be noted now the epiglottis sended food particle nothing but bolus entering into the stomach stomach also producing some secretions like acids that acids mixed with the food particles and causes a partial digestion at the same time stomach also side for the partial storage of the food now after storage after storage the food particle that enter into the duodenum here is a very important concept to be noted that is duodenum that containing the both pancreatic juices and also bile bladder secreted by juices so bile juices pancreatic juices mixing to the food at the site of the duodenum at the site of duodenum from here the mixture enter into the small intestine jejunum and ilum at the end of the ilum the em complete food can get digested and the undigested food 
undigested food which are present in the small intestine that enter into the ascending colon from where it go to the transverse colon to the descending colon to the rectum here rectum is a site for the partial storage of undigested food so whenever signal is reached to, to the rectum it opens into the anus anus sends fecal matter anus sends the fecal matter nothing but undigested undigested food into the outside in this way complete human digestion taking place human digestion taking place with association of the elementary canal and the accessory glands okay so this is a complete structure and flow chart of the human digestive system so there are questions to be asked in this concept i will discuss at the end of the human digestive system okay so i hope this concept is a very simple and i hope you all are understand this concept so if you really like this video please subscribe my channel share with your friends and also comment and like the